Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of exponents and radicals, we shall take up some very important questions which we are going to solve using laws of exponents. Now these are the questions which we will evaluate using laws of exponents. Now let's get started. Question 1 is 6 raised to power minus 1 minus 8 raised to power minus 1 whole raised to power minus 1. Plus, we have another bracket 2 raised to power minus 1 minus 3 raised to power minus 1 and whole raised to power minus 1. Now, if you observe, all these terms are negative exponent, which we will convert into positive exponent by applying the law of negative exponent that says x raised to power minus a is equal to 1 upon x raised to power a. That means we, sh we will just reciprocate the base and we will convert the negative into positive exponent. So accordingly, we will write 1 upon 6 minus 1 upon 8 whole raised to power minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 and whole raised to power minus 1. Now we will take LCM 6 and 8 the LCM is 24. So we shall write 24 in the denominator and further 6 into 4 is 24. So we shall write 4 over here in the numerator minus and then 8 into 3 is 24. So we shall write 3. So 4 minus 3 upon 24 raised to power minus 1. Further 3 and 2 the LCM is 6. Now 2 into 3 is 6 and 3 into 2 is 6. So we shall write 3 minus 2 upon 6 whole raised to power minus 1. Now further 4 minus 3 is 1. So we shall write 1 upon 24 whole raised to power minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 is 1. So we shall write 1 upon 6 whole raised to power minus 1. Now again they are in negative exponent, we have to convert into positive by reciprocating the base. So we shall write 24 plus 6 which is equal to 30. So the answer is 30 of this question. Now let us take up second question. It is given in box bracket we have 2 by 3 whole raised to power 2 and outside we have minus 6 into 2 by 3 whole raised to power 2 into 3 by 2 whole raised to power minus 10. Now over here we know that whenever we have two powers inside and outside we multiply both and another law is there of negative exponent whenever we have negative exponent we make it positive by reciprocating the base. So both the laws we will apply and further we will write 2 by 3 raised to power 2 into minus 6 into 2 by 3 raised to power 2 into 2 by 3 raised to power 10. Here we have reciprocated the base 3 by 2 has become 2 by 3. Now further 2 into minus 6 is minus 12. So we shall write 2 by 3 raised to power minus 12 into 2 by 3 raised to power 2 into 2 by 3 raised to power 10. Now we know when the two exponents are multiplied we add the powers. So accordingly we will write 2 by 3 raised to power minus 12 plus 2 plus 10. Now 2 plus 10 is 12 so we shall write 2 by 3 raised to power minus 12 plus 12 and minus 12 plus 12 is 0 so we shall write 2 by 3 raised to power 0 and over here we will apply another law of uh, 0 exponent that is anything raised to power 0 is 1. So 2 by 3 raised to power 0 is 1. So 1 is the answer of this question. Now let us move to question number 3. We have a curly bracket and inside that we have two brackets. One is 4 by 5 raised to power 3 and whole raised to power 2 divided by 4 by 5 whole raised to power 2 into 1 by 4 raised to power minus 2 into 4 raised to power minus 1. Now if we see the first bracket, we have one power inside and one power outside. So we shall apply the law of power of power which says x raised to power a and whole raised to power b is equal to x raised to power ab. That means we have to multiply both the powers. Second law which we will apply over here is of negative exponent and we shall convert into positive by just reciprocating the base. That is the law says x raised to power minus a is equal to 1 upon x raised to power a. So accordingly by applying these two laws we shall write 4 by 5 raised to power 3 into 2 divided by 4 by 5 raised to power 2 into now 1 by 4 will become 4 and minus 2 will become 2 into 4 will become 1 by 4 and minus 1 will become 1. So we have just reciprocated the base and made the negative exponent as positive. Now you can see in the middle of the two uh, brackets within the curly brackets we have a division sign. So what we will do is we will apply another 
law which says x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b. That means whenever we have question of powers, we subtract the powers. So accordingly, we will write 4 by 5 raised to power 6 minus 2 into 4 square into 1 by 4. Now 6 minus 2 is 4, so we shall write 4 by 5 raised to power 4 into 4 square into 1 by 4. Now we shall apply another law that is x upon y whole raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a and y raised to power a. That means a has been equally distributed between x and y. So uh, same we will do over here. We will distribute 4 between 4 and 5 and we shall write 4 raised to power 4 upon 5 raised to power 4 into 4 square into 1 by 4. Now if you observe we have 4 in the numerator also and in the denominator also. So over here we will apply two laws that is product of powers and question of powers. The product of power says whenever we have x raised to power a into x raised to power b it is equal to x raised to power a plus b. That means we will add the powers and the question of power says x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b. That means over here we will subtract the powers. So accordingly we will write 4 raised to power 4 plus 2 minus 1 upon 5 raised to power 4. Now further 4 plus 2 minus 1 is 5 so we shall write 4 raised to power 5 upon 5 raised to power 4 which is equal to 1024 upon 625. So this is the answer to this question. So hope you have understood these questions. Thank you everyone.